Hey everybody, it's your girl, the Blue Empress. How we all doing on this fine Thursday morning? Had to get myself, you know, looking all nice and cute for all of you. But I'm cute regardless. Shit. I take my raids down. Them motherfuckers was like itching my head. My scalp was oily and shit. I had to take that motherfucker down and wash it. Oh my God, it feels so good. Um, I'm going to be putting some braids back in my hair because I'll be damned if I'm going to be, you know, sitting over here wearing uh, wig head, head caps. So make sure I got this looking good right here so y'all can see me good. So, anywho, today's marvelous episode is a subject that I feel that people need to pay attention to. I'm a goofball and everything, and I like to put a smile on your face. Hey, I'd rather the whole world be smiling and laughing along with me. That's just how I am. Because you can say that's my purpose in life. So, the subject matter I'm talking about is pretty much your privacy and things in life that should remain private. The reason this came to my head to talk about today because, you know, um, you know, I have a friend that's, you know, going through this at her job. You know, there's this person that is just just blabbing off their business to anybody with a listening ear. And, and it's working her nerves is what it is. So, you know, she called me on the phone and was like, Blue, I, I don't. I don't get it. I don't get why this person is just telling their business to anybody, to any and anybody. It, it doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't get it. I don't want to know. I didn't ask. I don't want to know. It's none of my business. It's nobody else's business as well. But this person just keeps on, keeps on, keeps on running their fucking mouth about their personal life. And I'm standing here looking like, do you not know what world we're living in today? You know, when you put your business out there and then it's going to be used against your ass. You know, just 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 to put it just to put it out there. So I was like, you know what? I feel you. And just for that, I am going to make a video pertaining to that particular subject. Let me tell you how that how it goes for me when it, when when it comes to that. There have been a lot of situations where a random person just started spilling their guts out to me. They don't know me from a hole in the wall, but for some reason they they feel the need to to tell me their life story. You know, after they just met me or they don't know me at all. And I'm sitting here like, um, um, honey, boo child. Um, <laughs> um, look, you 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 seem like a, a nice person, but um, didn't your mother and father ever tell you to keep your mouth shut and don't tell your personal business to just any and anybody? Just saying. I mean, you don't know what kind of person I am. You don't know what I'm capable of. You don't know. If I'm that kind of person that's going to be like, oh, you telling me all this wonderful hot tea. Now I'm going to go somewhere and then just spread the word. That's what motherfuckers do. I'm not that person, but motherfuckers do that shit. People. This is not the 1960s, the 1970s, 1980s, 1990s. We're not there anymore. Wonderful years. We're not there no more. Technology has advanced over the years. Okay? T technology has advanced over the years. We got cell phones. We got touchscreen phones. We got these iPods. We got iPads. Tablets. We got... You, you, we got social media platforms. You know, we, we have MySpace. We got Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Just to name a few there. I'm pretty sure there's some other ones that I did not name off and I apologize. I'm just not into all the rest of them, but I just know the main ones that people use on a daily basis. Well, except for MySpace, MySpace kind of just flew away. <laughs> no uh, pun intended with Twitter with that. Sorry. <laughs> but anywho, the reason I'm saying this because 
when you run your mouth about certain events in your life, there's always that one individual that will listen real carefully to all that information you just spewed out of your mouth, take it home or on their phone and post that shit. And people are evil like that. I mean, you see what celebrities go through on a daily basis. You know, they, they get fans that, you know, give them a nice comment. You're beautiful. You're successful. We love you. and We admire you. And then you got the other fucking, you know, little messages and comments to be like, you a fucking bitch. You horrible. You, you fake as fuck. We know what the fuck you did. You did this and you did that way back when. But yeah, you walking around here like you all that in a bag of chips. People. You got to watch what the fuck you say. Okay? You got to watch what information you dish out. And I'm being dead ass. Nobody wants to hear about shit that you have done in your life. I don't care if it's fucking, if it's criminal. Don't spew out that information. I mean, if you told us you got like a, a, a speeding ticket or something, that, that's nothing. Who hasn't gotten a speeding ticket? I'll admit it. I, I did. It was an accident. I wasn't fucking paying attention. That That's my fault. And I paid the price for it. Okay, I paid the money to pay to get the shit off my fucking record. Fuck y'all. Anyway. But the, the, there's just certain things you don't talk about openly to just anybody. And, and here's a perfect example. Me and my family was living in Inkster at the time as well as my, my mother-in-law. When we had got an, we had got an apartment next door because the neighbor that was in that apartment had got kicked out because she was starting some crap with my mother-in-law for no reason. So she wound up getting kicked out. After she got kicked out of the way, they cleaned the place up, whatever. And that wound up being our apartment because at the time we needed to find a place. I just gave birth to our third child, Devonna. So, by the blessings of the Lord, we wind up getting the apartment next door because we were staying with my mother-in-law. And the landlord, um, you know, was very kind and generous enough to, to do that for us and everything. There was this one time, or not even one time, but there was a few times where the landlord was telling me personal information. Like she was telling me that even though she works up here at these apartment buildings, she's not making enough. And she literally told me that she went to go apply for food stamps at the DHS. If y'all motherfuckers don't know what DHS is, then y'all slow. Anyway. And I'm, I'm sitting here looking at her like, um, uh, damn. Um, I, I really don't know what else to, to say. Um, on that. Um, sorry. Um, okay. I didn't need to know that. Like, wh what do you want me to do with that? You think I'm the kind of person that has the, 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 the power and the, the resources to hook you up with some food stamps or something? Is that why you're telling me this? Or you just feel the need to vent how you feel? I, I don't, no, I'm I'm confused. I'm dead ass confused. Um, I remember another time me and my husband were out in Chicago. Um, I don't know if it was our anniversary or we was just going out there for giggles, but I don't think that's the case because I think normally the time that the times that we did go to Chicago, it was during our anniversary. So this had to be the time when it was our anniversary. So. We were on the train and there was this guy that was, I think he was Mexican, if I'm not mistaken, but he was so belligerent and drunk off his ass. He was just running off at the mouth. And there was another guy on the train. Mind you, I'm terrified because I don't know what the fuck this belligerent ass motherfucker is going to do, especially the fact that he's intoxicated. There was another guy that was on the train and he is literally like hint hinting to this guy, shut the fuck up or some shit finna go down on this train. Mind you, I think we were on the red line train 
And the area that we were in, we were up. Not down on the ground. We're up in the air. So if some shit would have went down, okay, that train probably would have been shaking and moving and then derailed off the fucking track and we would have fell down to our death. That's just me. I don't give a fuck how much electricity you got on that motherfucking uh, track. It, it don't matter. I'm pretty sure with enough force and enough of a push, that motherfucker will get pushed off that track and derail. I'm just saying. I don't know much about science. I passed science as a kid, but I don't know about the, the, the mechanism and shit when it comes to these motherfucking train tracks. You're going to have to ask my husband. But, you know, eventually this belligerent ass motherfucker got off the train. And then the guy that was telling this dude to shut the fuck up or some shit was going to go down. He sits down in front of us. Okay, like I'm sitting where, where, where I'm sitting at, me and my husband was. He was right here. I was right here. The guy is sitting right across from me. Sorry, across from us. And this man is just saying how his mother did drugs or she got he she got shot in front of him and he went through all this the man sounded like a philosopher is what he sounded like so we just sitting there like like whoa well damn um um sorry to hear that and he just kept going so we get to our stop he gets off along with us so I'm thinking like, if this motherfucker follow us, I am going to alert the Chicago PD in a minute because I'll be damned if we're going to be spending the rest of our time being followed by a guy who was running his fucking mouth as strangers about his personal life to us. What the fuck are you doing? So that makes me wonder, was he high? Was he drunk? No, he couldn't have been drunk because... Well, well, no, then again, he probably could have been drunk. You know, we all say a whole lot of crazy shit when we're um, sipping that liquor. You know, especially the hard shit. So, I, I didn't get it. And neither did my husband. I'm more, I was more petrified than anything. I wasn't curious about what the fuck he was talking about. I'm scared at the simple fact that as soon as we get off, you got off along with us. And in my thought process, I'm thinking you're going to follow us and keep running your mouth. And it's like, we, he, he got to go. Luckily for us, he went the opposite direction. We went another way. So we didn't see him anymore after that. Whoever that guy is, if ever you come across this video or whatever, I apologize. But honey, you terrified us that night. Thank you for getting that drunk motherfucker off the train that night. But... You sitting down in front of two strangers telling your life story, honey, that, 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 no, I'm sorry for what you went through in your life. I really am. I'm sympathetic when it comes to the hardships that you grew up in in your life. No one should ever have to live like that, but you should not run your mouth to just anybody when it comes to your personal life. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying that in case he just one day come across this video and he happened to know that it was him I'm talking about. I don't know his name. He never devoured his name. I called him the philosopher. That's what I called him. We were on a train and he just happened to be there when this guy was acting belligerent and he got him off the train and then he sat right across from us and started telling us his life story. That's all I remember. No names, no nothing. If I don't remember your name, I'm going to come up with a name for you. It's not to be disrespectful. It's the fact that if I, honest to God, don't know your fucking name, I'm going to come up with one. Hey, they did it on Unsolved Mysteries. If a victim does not want to devour her real name, they make up a name for her to protect her identity. I don't fault them for that. That's a good idea, to tell you the truth. So, that was another example of spewing out your, your personal information, just any and anybody. I don't know if that, I don't know if he was, I don't know if he did that as a way of saying, you know, now that I got rid of this belligerent motherfucker off the train, then we owe him by us sitting here and listening to his tragic life story. I don't know. So that, that's just, that, that's just, that's just me. Okay. People want to vent. Okay. We all want to vent. 
And I have no issue with that. I don't. I, I rather for you to vent about some things that's bothering you than having it bottled inside. But there are certain things that you do not need to vent out. Okay? You just don't. I've been around a lot of people that I just met. And already they spilling the beans. And there's a part of me that's like, can you please shut up? Can you just shut up? I'm not trying to be mean. That's the very last thing that I'm trying to be. But you and I just met like a few seconds ago, just to throw it out there. And you already spilling out your personal business to me. Do I have one of those faces where you just have this, this feeling that, Oh, she seems like a nice person. I, mean, I can confide in her. She's not going to, you know, use it for clout or whatever. She'll just sit there and, you know, just, you know, listen to stuff. Now, mind you, I'm going to listen, but I'm not going to run and go post it on social media to get some attention. I, I'm not going to do that. Um, am I going to look confused as you're telling me your personal business? Uh, yeah, you're damn right I am. I'm going to look confused. And then when you look at me with this confused look on my face, yeah, th this is my confused look. And you ask me what's wrong. Th 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 this is my, my thought process. What's wrong? You, you want to know what's wrong? Okay. Um, I'm confused. And you're probably going to ask, why are you confused? Um, I'm glad you asked. Cause now I don't have to feel like there's an elephant in the room. I'm, I'm confused on why you are telling me your personal business. Well, I was just trying to confide. So, okay, I, okay, you, you want to confide. You just met me a few seconds ago. Now, about five seconds ago, you just met me. And already you telling me some personal shit that I don't need to know. I, I don't think anybody else want to know. I just felt that maybe I can just confide in someone about what the fuck is going on with me in life. Honey, isn't that what counseling is for? Isn't that what a therapist is for? Isn't that what shock therapy is for? Suicide squad, Harley Quinn. Fuck you. Anyway, people, there is just certain things in your life that you do not need to tell. I feel that the only people that should know about your personal life is a therapist and a counselor. To me, I feel that that is probably the only person that you should tell somebody about your personal life because they are covered by a code of ethics, you know, and, you know, code of conduct and whatever and privacy wise if they ran and told anybody about you then yeah they're breaking a code of ethics and a code you know a code of conduct i'm going to school to get my bachelor's degree in psychology so i have to know these things those are the people i feel that you can tell about tell your personal business to and if they just ironically was out with some girlfriends or out with their spouses or whatever and they ask them, you know, well, how's your job? You know, I know you were talking about one patient that you were concerned about. They're not going to say your name. They're just going to be like, you know, well, this person, you know, she was molested, you know, as a child. Um, her mom pretty much lost her. She's been in and out of, you know, homes preferably ones that were abusive to her and her whole mind mentality is just, it's just messed up. And it, it just don't seem that someone took the time out of their life to help her deal with this. And because no one didn't help her, now she's going through all this hardship to where she feels she can't trust nobody. She can't, she can't live that decent life that everybody else is trying to live. Yes, there's going to be struggles 
and obstacles in her way. But I'm hoping that with my services and with my help that I can get her back on a straight and narrow to where she has that confidence to say, you know what, I've been through this shit, but I'm here now and I'm I'm doing better. I'm moving up. I got my own place. I got a job. Me and my fam is doing good. I'm able to accomplish my dream. I'm going to school to get a degree so I don't have to live the hard life and struggle. You know, that's that's how they talk. You know, they're not going to devour your name because it's nobody's fucking business. And that's another thing. It's nobody's fucking business. Get this through your skull, people. It's nobody's business what the hell is going on in your personal life. None whatsoever. I don't give a damn what you've done in your personal life. I don't. But I don't want to know. Okay? I don't want to know what the F you did. Especially if it's something criminal. Please don't tell me that. I do not want to be a fucking associate to some shit. Guilty by association. Don't do that to me. Because if you tell me some shit and some shit go down with you where the cops get involved and then they come up to where I'm at and then they ask me the question, I'm going to be like, I got no choice but to tell them because you said something about it. So now I got to sit over here and play a motherfucking snitch. And I don't want to do that. Yeah, you're not just putting yourself in a vulnerable position. You're putting everybody else in a vulnerable situation. That's not fair to everybody else. What I'm saying, people, stop telling your personal business to everybody. It's nobody's fucking business what the hell is going on in your life. Do you wake up in the morning and be like, you know what? Today, I'm just going to go in and just spew out all my information out to everybody with a listening ear. If you wake up thinking that, you need to get your brain checked. You need to get your brain rewired. Or then again, somebody need to take a frying pan in your damn head and knock some sense to your ass because that's dumb. Okay? That's just dumb. And and, and this is and this is something else that, that, that kills me about this shit. And and my, to my royal man and my royal ex, help, help me out here. Matter of fact, if you know the answer to this, I'm going to give you my answer. But if you have another alternative answer to this question, please put it in the comments below. Why is it that when you spill out your personal information to anybody and then you get into an altercation with someone and when this person puts you on blast, you want to whoop their ass. Meaning, you expose your personal life to everybody. Here's everybody over here that you're telling this to. Yeah, I got to do a fucking puppet show. Fuck you. And you're doing this. You're running your mouth about your personal life. This is everybody else over here with the listening ears. Okay. And then you come in with an attitude or whatever. I don't care. With everybody. Everybody is like... Who you getting an attitude with, bitch? You running your mouth. Well, bitch, at least I wasn't stupid enough to get behind the wheel of a car drunk and go fucking crash to a damn pole. I'm going to whip your motherfucking ass. Be, 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 be. Wait a minute. Pause. Real quick. Pause. This is you. Yeah, I got yeah, I got into an argument with a girlfriend and I was so fucking drunk off that fucking bullshit that you know that hard liquor and I got behind the wheel of a car and I drove off and I crashed into a pole. Man, all I know is all the fines and fees and stuff that I had to pay off and everything. Oh my gosh, like what the hell? This is us. She real dang on fucking, she real stupid to tell us some fucking shit like this. What is she getting out of this? What is she hoping to gain from telling us this information? I don't know. And, and this is just me. 
This is this is me all day. I don't know what the fuck. I'm staying out of this. Ain't got shit to do with me. What the, what she did was foul. But what am I gaining from this? Nothing. I'm going over y'all. Y'all can stay over on y'all. Bye. That's me. But you got motherfuckers that sit over here. And then you come in with the attitude. And then they say, well, at least I wasn't dumb enough to get drunk and get behind the wheel of a car and crash it into a fucking pole and have to blow all kind of money just to get the shit fixed off my record. I'm going to your motherfucking ass, you fucking whole ass bitch. Stop right there. Stop right there. That's another thing that gets on my nerves for the life of me. I can't stand it. Why is it when you throw out your personal business out to everyone and you just happen to get into an altercation with this person and when they bring up what you said, this came out of your mouth, you want to whoop their ass. No, sweetheart, whoop your own ass. You can't whoop their ass because they just spit out something that originally came out of your mouth. You were the one that said I was dumb enough to get drunk, got an argument with my girl, with my girlfriend or whatever, jumped in the car, drunk off my ass, and then as I drove off, I crashed into a pole. Why are you telling us this? What are you hoping to gain from this? Are you trying to... You think we're going to show you sympathy or are you just trying to get attention? That, that's, that's the confusing part to me. But don't sit over here and threaten to whoop somebody ass when they are repeating what you told them in the first place. This would not have occurred had you kept your damn mouth shut. That's the part I don't like. I hate it. Don't tell people your personal information and then later on down the line, when you happen to get into an altercation with this person and they bring it up, now you want to whoop their ass. You can't whoop their ass. Hit your own damn self. Whoop your own motherfucking ass. You should have never devoured that information out to begin with. Had you kept your mouth shut, this wouldn't have been a problem. If you keep your mouth closed about your personal life, and a motherfucker try to come after you. They got nothing to throw back at you. Nothing. If you're fortunate, maybe they said something to you of a personal matter. Then you could be like, well, I'm sorry. Who got caught smoking weed in the motherfucking employee bathroom the other, other day? They can't whoop your ass for saying that because they said it. People. I do not throw judgment on people, okay? I just don't. I've done a lot of things in my life that I'm not proud of, okay? I'm not. Me and my father had an up and down relationship. There's a lot of things that I'm not happy that I did when it came to me and his relationship. You know, there, there's, there's just so much that I do feel responsible for. But at the end of the day, I'm a grown ass woman. I make mistakes. All I can do is move on. And that's what I'm doing. I'm moving on. But if ever you all see me on the streets, and this is for any anybody on YouTube, on Facebook, or all whatever social platform, or I don't care what, what you do. But when you see me on the street, please do not divulge your, your personal business to me. Now, just to let you know, I am not the kind of person that is going to go run and tell some motherfucking body. If I do, this is how it's going to go. Hey, honey, how was your day? Oh, um, my day was fine. Um, I was standing outside um, strolling through my phone and this guy or female don't matter um just came up to me and looked like they were in distress or whatever and they just started spilling their guts out to me about some personal stuff that i i just didn't feel that was necessary to for them to say to me because you know they don't know me from a hole in the wall i'm just I, I'm, I'm just confused 
I, I don't know what they expected me to do. I don't know if I just got one of those faces where it just looked like I'm, I'm trustworthy and I'm, I'm a kindred spirit that will just, just be a listening ear and just give me some type of advice or whatever. It's like, um, you're right. I, I, I'm a kindred spirit. Yes. Um, I, I don't know if I have one of those faces where you feel you can vent to me about anything. I mean, if I do, um, thank you, I guess. Um, I, I just don't feel it's necessary. And people, there there are a lot of people that are suicidal, that have depression. I am one of them. Yes, I have major depressive disorder, but that's another story. And I can understand the need to wanting to vent to people. Wanting you wanting to, to just express how you're feeling at that moment in time. There are people out there that can help you with that. It's called therapists. It's called counselors, psychotherapists. You know, there are a lot of resources out there that can even give you free services when it comes to therapists and counseling and whatnot. I should know because I do. I do know because I went through it myself and I'm cool. Now. But I just want people just, just hear my advice. Don't spew out your personal information to just any and everybody, especially if y'all just met. Because you're, you're setting the tone to have people not want to have anything to do with you. You tell us your personal business and now our brain is processing whether or not to even give you a second thought let alone try to get to know you on a, you know, good level, whatever. And you sitting over here just devouring all this personal information. Like, are you trying to get attention? Are you trying to gain sympathy? What's going on? You got to be careful what the fuck you say. It's, it's, it's just point blank to the period. You got to watch what the fuck you say. And what you spew out, what you expose to people. Because we live in a world where a motherfucker is so quick to get behind the dang on fucking computer screen and just start typing away with them doggone fingers, touching them buttons, and ready to just spew out that information to the world. And then once they do that, then everybody jumps on the motherfucking bandwagon. And now your reputation is tarnished because you opened your mouth and exposed personal events that took place in your life. The only people that I feel that should know about this information, and this is just me, is a counselor, a therapist. But if you are at work, then just tell your boss or the supervisor. Cut. Nobody else needs to know about your personal business. If you want to talk about something as far as with, you know, with your life, you know, talk about like your childhood, like some good times in your childhood, you know, like how you went to the ice cream, how your, your daddy took you to the ice cream shop because you got straight A's on your report card or how you and your mom went out shopping to get this, this new outfit that was a big trend at the time, you know, or, or how your big brother took you to the library while he, when he had to go do his homework and he took you along for the ride and stuff, you know, just, just you know, just some good memories. Or, you know, or talk about the time when you went to see the point with your family and how you took these goofy pictures just to symbolize the wonderful times you had at Cedar Point. You know, talk about stuff like that. But don't talk about anything else that I feel that's of a personal matter that you don't need to say. You just don't. Wake up in the morning and be like, you know what? I'm going through some things in my life. It might be criminal, it may not be, but I'm not going to go into work and tell my business because it's nobody's fucking business. It don't matter what anyone's opinion is of me or what they say about me. I am who I am. I'm working on me and that's all I can do. I'm trying to better myself. 
Would I like to be surrounded by people that can probably help me build myself more as a better person? There's no problem with that. None whatsoever. But don't devour your personal information to us. Don't do it. That's for every motherfucking job you've ever worked with in your life. And that goes on for even when you walking out down the street in public. Don't just go up to a random person and then just start spewing out your personal life. First of all, they don't know you. Second of all, you think they care? No. Trust me, I, I've seen when a motherfucker spew out their fucking business. And I see the look on people's faces when they tell them like. That's the react that those are the body languages and stuff that I see from people. Me. But why is he telling me this? What, what am I supposed to do with this? How, what am I going to do? do? Do I have a phone number somewhere? Like, you know, nothing, nothing, nada, nothing, zip. What am I supposed to do? You know what? The next time someone tell me their personal fucking information to me again, I don't want to hear it. This was going to happen to you. One tough cup. Th th this is going to happen to you. You won't have a busted eye and busted tooth. You really want to keep going there? Another busted eye. Maybe a scratch here and there. Nice little crack. One tough mug. Either way, you keep spewing out your personal business. And get into an altercation. This could be you. You could be Cuphead. Or Mugman. Heed my advice. Just saying. But like I said, people, pr privacy is a big factor. Okay? And uh, personally, I, I really think we don't have privacy. You know, I'm hearing that there's fucking satellites and shit above the earth that's looking at us taking a shit and fucking people and all this other bullshit you know the government doing all this bullshit that's what i've been told you know you you got people buying these drones and they're flying all over the place just to spy on motherfuckers and shit i mean that's just that, that just irks me like we really have advanced in technology and motherfuckers want to use that shit for perverted reasons it's just oh my god it's so fucking annoying. but Another method that I would recommend that you use to vent out how you feeling is keep a journal. I like to write, you know, I write books. I haven't written one recently, but I need to actually get back on that. But I have a journal. I have a journal that where I'm, if I had a bad day and I really don't want to talk to anybody about it, I write it down in my journal. I just write it down. And you can say whatever you want in your journal. It's your personal book. It's your personal thing for you. Just write down, write it down in your journal. Just express, let the explosion erupt into that journal entry. Just write it down. I can't stand this motherfucking bitch. She forever in a day want to do some dumb ass shit. And then I'm sitting over here trying to figure out what the fuck did I do wrong? Did that? Just let it go. Yes. I'm quoting Elsa. Ain't that a bitch? Just vent in a journal. I'm telling you, it will help. My journal, hopefully, I'm probably going to wind up getting another one soon, which you can go to Dollar Tree. I tell people this all the time when it comes to certain items that I know for a fact 100% that the store has. Go to Dollar Tree, spend a dollar and six cent on a journal. Okay? Get you a journal. Write it down. Hide it somewhere, hide it wherever the hell you are. I'm not going to give you no ideas where to hide it, but hide your journal, put it somewhere where you know where it is and nobody else knows where it is. And whenever you have a bad day or you have a thought going through your head that you don't want to tell nobody, take that journal out and write it down in the journal. Just do that. The journal can't come to life and go rambling on about your personal life to anybody. It's a book with paper in it. Get you a fancy pen or pencil. I don't give a fuck. Use a Crayola. But take a journal and just write it down. That's the best advice I can give you to my royal men and my royalettes. Write it down. And if you still feel the need that you still have to vent, 
get in touch with a therapist or a counselor, please. Let them know what's going on in your life so you can get the help that you need. I don't want you to go into a job or in a grocery store or at the mall or even taking a crispy walk downtown, walking outside in Myron Nature. I don't want you to spill out your personal information to just any anybody. Because I don't want that shit coming back on you to where you're going to sit over here and threaten to whoop somebody's ass. And what I'm telling you is you can't whoop they ass because they repeated something that you said in the first place. So if you want to whoop somebody ass, whoop your own ass. This right here, keep it shut. Don't go anywhere telling your personal information to just any and anybody. That's just point blank to the period. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm trying to save your life. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Okay. Just the thought process in itself. Don't do it. We are going to end this video with um, condolences to the Woods family. Mr. and Mrs. Woods, Terrence, Marcus, Nico, and the rest of the Woods clan. They have lost their um, grandmother. I said I, I, I said Grandma Woods, but when um, they posted it, it's, it's Thompson. So I apologize. But um, Grandma Thompson has uh, passed away. And to all of you who do know them, please send your condolences and your prayers to them during this time. Let the grieving process go through with them and to let them know that we are in their prayers and we love you guys. And if you ever need us, you know the Burgess clan is only a phone call away. I want to end that on a good, I want to end this video on a nice note just to let you know. We love you. But until then, I don't know what I'm going to talk about in the next episode, but this one I can clearly say was a good successful video. So, to my royal men, my royalettes, I will see you guys next week for another awesome video from your girl, the Blue Empress. So, bow down to royalty and stay classy. See you guys next Thursday. Bye.